news. The Minot Public School District is having an orientation for the new hires this school year. Lauren Davis tells us what the school district has in store for these new employees as we lead local. Minot Public Schools is having a new teacher university from August 16th through 18th. There are nearly 80 new employees this year in the school district amid the ongoing teacher shortage. We knew we had a lot of openings to fill. We traditionally do every year. We hire anywhere between 50 and 70 teachers, so our numbers are not out of whack, I guess you could say in regard to that, but well, we have a lot of new staff this year. At orientation, staff will be learning the basics of working in the school district and incorporating technology into their classrooms. In addition, this group will meet monthly to talk about other things. It's just to check in to make sure that in their first year of employment with Mina Public Schools that they're, they're doing okay and that they're moving along and they feel comfortable with the job they're doing. Linda Holcomb will be an interventionist this year and she says she'll be working at Perkett and Sunnyside Elementary Schools after 14 years of teaching in Georgia. The interventionist is a teacher who helps the students who may be struggling in a certain area, specifically in math is what I'll be working with, to help those kids bridge the gap, especially after COVID. We saw a bit of a gap, so we want to just help those kids get to grade level, and that's my job. Her advice for those interested in joining the education field is simple. Definitely be willing to change. There's constant change going on within education, and you definitely have to have a love for kids. You can't just go into it for summers off. You have to be in it because it's your calling. And Dr. Vollmer has advice for all the new district employees this school year. Ask questions if you don't know the answers. Simply put, ask questions, reach out. Uh, we have 1,600 staff in our district, roughly, uh, and everyone is here to help. So if you, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. He also says they should enjoy their time with the school district and with the children they work with. For KX News, I'm Lauren Davis. There are still job openings in the school district, including paraprofessionals, substitute teachers, and more. If anyone is interested in applying, head on over to kxnet.com.